with Dave episode or anything. This is going to be the start of a new series, which is most likely going to be weekly. Uh, here is my coffee, because can't do anything without it, because I'm a hopeless addict. This series, I'm going to readjust the camera here, is going to be about weight loss and getting healthy. I am 39 years old and I am very, very close to 300 pounds. Um, I have a pretty bad food addiction, right? And binge eating things um, without the purge. So I need to do something. My blood pressure is high. Um, I have two kids, 10 and three, and a wife. And uh, it's gotten to the point now where I have to make changes or I'm going to die. And I know we all die and that's fine, but I don't want to do this slow suicide through sugar and buffalo wings, right? So what am I doing? First, I'm going to be tracking literally everything that goes into my mouth like this coffee. And normally the coffee is black. This one has uh, some fat-free half and half in it and a Splenda. So if I had to take a guess, because I didn't measure this, because I'm starting this uh, tomorrow morning, then, uh, yeah, maybe 30, 40 calories. The uh, half and half is 20 calories per two tablespoons, and the Splenda is like a calorie or five or something. I think it's five. Um, it's just gotten to the point where I have to do something. And I talk about goals and goal settings and stuff like that a lot on this channel. And this is a major one that I have to do. Um, this is one of my favorite shirts, it's Mordor, and it's showing my belly now, right? Like when I stand up straight, and look at this, this is just weird. Uh, when I stand up straight, my belly hangs out at the bottom of it. Who knows what's showing in the back? That's not good, that's not a good look. I'm a dad, nobody wants a fat dad. That's weird. Like, uh, yeah, this is my dad. Um, he's really fat. Like, come on. Nobody wants that. And no, this is not fat shaming or any bullshit like that. This is 100% the truth. Being obese, in my case, is not healthy. And I can feel it, right? It's really easy to feel if you're not healthy. When you fall asleep on the couch accidentally and you wake up and you're sore the next day, and I mean body aches, can't even move sore, there's an issue. That issue is me and the food that I eat and the quantity of the food I eat. Not just the quality, but the quantity. I could put down an entire fucking sleeve of Oreos if I really wanted to. A large pizza? That ain't no big thing. I could do that. Doesn't feel good to admit that, but it's the fucking truth. There was a time in my life where I used to play World of Warcraft almost nonstop. I'd work, I'd come home, 
I play World of Warcraft. This is back in the Wrath of uh, the Lich King days, back then. And during that time, Papa John's had this really good deal. Buy one, get one free large pizza, right? One of them was like up to three toppings and the other was a specialty. And I'd order them and I'd be like, okay, cool. This is enough for a couple days. I'll be all set. Then, well, a couple hours would go by and I'd be out of fucking pizza. I also chain smoked back then. So, not only was I a fat, disgusting World of Warcraft playing slob, I was a chain smoker. So I probably smelled like grease and cigarettes, which is not good, right? I didn't really come out of my room much either if I wasn't. Well, I go to the bar a few times and get blackout drunk with a few friends, but mostly it was work. World of Warcraft, really, really, really unhealthy food. Then I met my wife, World of Warcraft kind of tapered off to the side, eventually canceled my account because I wasn't playing it anymore, but I also wasn't doing anything with my health, so I stopped one addiction, but kept the other. So eventually stopped smoking and all that shit too. Um, and then when my first son was born, my wife had to have a C-section and I had to put on one of those hospital gowns, right? But I was too fucking fat to wear it effectively. So I had to wear the fuck around, um, like backwards, which was fucking embarrassing. Uh, at that point, I was like 320, 330, some ridiculous fucking amount. It's right after we moved to Los Angeles. And so I went on a diet. First, I went vegan because I bought into that shit. And, well, that worked a little bit, but I think anything at that point would have worked a little bit if I was just watching what I was fucking eating. And then I went keto. Um, and keto fucking worked. It was, it was great. Uh, I got down to about 220 from 320, so 100 pounds, a little bit over a year, um, with some major fuck-ups in there, too. Um, and then I gained all of it back eventually within just not very long. And then uh, we moved to Utah. Um, and then during the last part that we were there, I lost another 40 pounds or so. And when I moved back to LA, I was in the 240s. So much better than 320 but I've gained all that back and it came back really fucking fast. Um, like I'm talking about like gaining 50 pounds in three months, that kind of shit. I didn't, I didn't even know that was fucking possible. Uh, but I guess it is math works out. So what am I doing this time and how is it going to be fucking different? Okay. So one keto, all right. Or at least a low carb keto, uh, higher protein, than usual, because uh, I'm almost 40 and I need that extra protein, right? Uh, if I want to keep these fucking guns, which I don't have, um, then I'm going to have to do something. Let me look at this shit. Um, I meant to say this in my reading, I think, as a man thinking, but what the fuck ever. Okay. So this, the CEO of the company I work at gave me this book. It is... Living Your Best Year Ever by Darren Hardy. Um, in it, it walks you through setting your goals, your smart goals, all that shit. All right, so it has a gratitude worksheet, a uh, bunch of quotes by Darren Hardy, which is, you know, it has this wheel of life thing, which I put on. Um, life is a little unbalanced right now. Okay, but... My top 10 goals, I'll only do a couple for you. Um, lose 100 pounds is my number one goal. And that deadline is 12, 12, 21. So a year from fucking today, I'm gonna be down 100 fucking pounds. I'm gonna be at 200 pounds. All right, and then B, I wanna get coffee with Dave, 
podcast launched and the video series with at least 112,000 um, downloads in big. All right. I also want a blue Nissan pickup truck. That's, a, that's just something I want. Um, I also want to write a book. So those are some of them. So but this book, this is what is going to be the killer. Okay. The weekly rhythm register. In it, you have the behavior, the action, days of the week, the goal, the achieved, and the net. And then using this thing, using my food scale, eating the right fucking foods, tracking everything meticulously, I'm going to make it, bro. I'm going to make it. And then would be this cool looking 200 pound 40 year old dude and that's going to be cool I want my kids my sons to look up to me i don't want them following my fat fucking footsteps so there we go and uh god is my witness that light can't even get that God is my witness. This thing. As God is my witness, I'm going to make this goal. Because it has to happen. It has to. So. If it doesn't, I'm dead. My family is without me, and I don't want that. First of all, I don't want to die yet. Second, I don't want to leave them with that, and leave them with the fact that their father fucking ate himself to death. Okay. So if anybody wants to join in on this, please do the more, the merrier on this. Let's, uh, let's lose some weight. Let's get healthy. Fuck the weight. Let's get healthy. Let's make it so that we set the example for the future generations. When was the last time that happened? Uh, So, finish your coffee. Good luck. And God bless. I'll see you later.